Place. It's my mother Janice and my sister Janice. And today we have a special guest, our brother and my mom's son, of course. That's Juan Justin. <laughs> Welcome, bro. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all for having me. And then, well, thank you for joining us. Yeah. So uh, we have a few topics today. First, um, it's a trending topic. So, so um, do we hold down men more than men hold down women? And that kind of stems from the conversation that Yandy and Mendez had on Couples Therapy, a VH1 show. Um, the new law that Oklahoma has passed, and unfortunately the murder of a seven-year-old girl, Jaslyn Adams. So let's go ahead and roll on in. So, I do think that women definitely hold down men more than men hold down women. Um, only because at any opportunity a guy gets, of course they're going to stray. Of course they may not hold down their household like you did, things of that nature. But then there are, are some good men that may do it. Like Pat Poops did it with Remy Ma, mm -hmm. was like the way he held down everything and didn't mess around and cheat to care the household. Um, so I'll start with you, Ma. What is your opinion? I'm just saying. Everybody keep on saying that Mandizi said he wouldn't. He said he don't know what he'll do. That's all he said, and he was just being honest. That's what I think. It's great that he was being honest. It's just that when a woman has that mentality, people feel like she's doing something wrong. And when she, like, just the example of them, she did help hold them down the whole time. And she she was also in jail. was always on Instagram. Graham dancing and what's wrong with her? She didn't have time, time. time. so she didn't have no email. She got to send them an email 24 hey, hours hey, a day. Hey, it wasn't gonna hurt. She her. was she dealing was with his baby it. mamas, making sure his children so, would be so together. What are y'all men holding down? Like, do men stand hold? with them? No, stand so with them. Are y'all saying? Them. Are, so are y'all saying that during a, a jail sentence, or are y'all saying like just in general? Do just men, in general, I would say just in so general. So y'all saying do men, uh, do women hold men down more than men hold That's women down? That's what they saying. I, I say. Yeah, I mean, look at it this way. way. Like yeah. for instance, when you go to jails, men in jails, there's always a ton of women right, coming right. in there visiting. You know what's funny men. about that, though? But like, at women's jails, hardly they get any visitors, and if it is, it's usually other women. Hardly men. But it's always a woman. Involved, it's gonna be a woman involved in that situation, regardless. It's always a woman that destroys a, another man's family, and <laughs> it's always a woman that's getting hurt. <laughs> tell no, a man seriously, why. Seriously, for real, <laughs> you you talking to a man? I've been through it, and I don't mean this in no derogatory form towards a woman, but like a woman to know that a man is is uh, been married for years. And she was still pretty so, so that man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But it takes and, two. But, but temptation saying, is so a like, thing. Temptation. You have to resist temptation. The, you, the, yeah, there the are women that will yeah. go for the guy but, that they know is taken, but you, as the husband who made a commitment, make sure or that you don't you, take the you bait. Don't take the bait. Yeah, if you go mess up, oh, she let. This is another thing that I mean about what men do is the they don't hold themselves accountable. It's always, oh, you let me do it, so I'm gonna let you do. I'm gonna do it. No. Just because somebody lets you do something doesn't mean you should do it. If some girl is throwing her stuff at you and you got a good woman yeah, at home, true. you that's love her, that's you're supposed true. to, no, back behind me, Satan. Yeah, that's what she's supposed to be. You don't yeah. just get with her. But I mean, and I don't mean it to say it like you that. Said, do you say why this dude wearing a mask? I, I, because I'm, I'm <laughs> he don't want to cough on nobody. I don't want to cough on nobody. But, uh, He's supposed to wear a mask, actually. Uh, Where's yours? <laughs> like, like I was saying, though, and I'm not saying that to speak derogatory towards females, and I'm not saying that. No, I guess you're absolutely right. Any individual, you know, because that's basically, I, I'm not here to gossip about another man or anything like that. I'm I'm just in here to support what y'all are doing and, and just speak on a couple of things. No, like, you're absolutely know. right, Antoine. Yeah. You're right. absolutely right. There are girls that are grimy like no that. Purpose. No, yeah, there, there, there are purposes going on in relationships. You're absolutely right. You know, a girl knew that I had a baby on the way and everything. The whole nine months my baby was, you know, in the okay. womb, she was still pursuing me, coming to get me from her house and pick me up and drop so me off. So were you ever like, no? I, 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 yeah, I, 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 so, yes. how did, so how did how did it happen? That's why he, 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 he was a sucker for 
recording. I'm gonna keep it real. When that she came to mama house that day. <laughs> and then we all went out that day. I done rocked her. I done rocked her. Yeah, that was my fault. I fell into temptation, you know. I seen yeah. a beautiful girl that I thought I'd never heard. Oh, that's how I think. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you know, don't care. So they're going to do what they're going to do. I just think a man being incarcerated, he shouldn't even expect a female to be out here not having sex. That's, that car is just so funny to me because taking care of someone's kid that's not biologi biologically yours, yeah, yeah, she put money yeah, yeah, on she your books so you can send you care packages, yeah. making sure that the kids that you guys do have together are fed, take care, mm -hmm. taken care of, yeah, bills are paid. Sure. How else can you, like, that's holding it down. That is. Yeah, I don't that know that That's it, the buddy. most important. Those <laughs> are the that's the foundation of taking care of yeah. these children. They, these kids aren't just run amok and freely being money thrown at them. That's not how that works. So give that stuff up. Is that legal? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give that up. Quiet. So give that stuff up. Yeah, what stuff, Stop. These, these are comments coming through. So I'm trying to we're trying to keep up the comments and make sure we respond. But um I don't know, Leland, yeah, what your question is. So give that stuff up? No. Uh, you don't have to give anything up to take care of your offspring. <laughs> you know, you don't have to Sorry, give anything up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so moving along. So Oklahoma passed a law. Um, is, what was the name of the law? You know what? I didn't see the name of it. All I know is that it was passed in Oklahoma that it protects uh, people from drivers who drivers unintentionally, who unintentionally kill, or kill or injure rioters, protesters, you know, all protesters are that's rioters. Fair, participating in a riot. To me, that's just to kill black people and get away with it. Yeah. But, yeah. Because they always afraid that we're going to be the ones to riot. But, <laughs> but what's crazy to me is that you would have that mentality of people protesting and possibly setting a store on fire you're so scared of a store being so, uh, set on fire, but you had no problem with them people storming the Capitol, storm Capitol, threatening yeah. to kill yes. all Congress and senators yes. and all of this so other shit. That, oh, no, hold back on them, but no, we need to stop these people here. You know, like, why? No they feel that way because of all the rioters <laughs> at the Capitol were white. It's a, it, it's they were really black. That's why when politicians say the country is a racist thing, it is. And and it's what the fuck are you living? It's sad to say this, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sad to say that this, but that's the wicked world we live in. You know what I'm saying? And it'll never be right till Christ come back. It, it'll never be. It's always gonna be like that. No matter what we're gonna do, everything we do, they're gonna make a law against. You know what I'm saying? This, if you look into the law book, really look into the law book, you'll be shocked to see the laws like that's just blankly made against I the, be the, the, the black race. I wouldn't right? be shocked because it's, it well, it's just against every race but white people. Three strike law, like and stuff we're like that, the habitual criminal property. law, knowing like some of them people really do be sick, you know what I'm saying? And so they repeat the same offense over and over again because like it's like a sickness like thieving and, and stuff like that. It's starting to become people do it just to be doing it, it and it, it becomes more than that it starts to become like so people literally sick and, and hurting that's why they but like it's just so many laws put in place to like oh, it, it's just really sad you know it's really sad and to destroy us and hold us back and we destroy ourselves mm -hmm. <laughs> you know that's why i like it, it's it's time to do some more than protest in my heart. Yeah, absolutely. It's time, it's time, to, to the next it's time to do some more. We're going to be in trouble yeah. regardless. But so, what else can we we do? Uh, I can't even say. Well, bear arms and this. fight back. Bear arms, definitely. Yes. And fight back. Bear arms, for real. Because they're making it to where they can just come in your house and, and snatch you out your house. I mean, it's just... Having an Emmett Till. You know, and, and we never got no justice for that. snatched out his house you know, and about his sleep and taken to be murdered. You know, and it's a shame that it took taking all this, that one conviction of this one person is not going to change nothing. Mm -hmm. And he should have to face something more severely than what he's going to go through. We all know, and, and, and it's nothing compared to that man life when we took like that. For real, like, in a way, yes. You know, I'm Superman. I'm and he, 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 was, he seemed surprised he that he was convinced. Yeah, he was surprised. He was very uh, surprised. Um, uh, George Floyd. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, he runs the piece. Shout out to his family.
Stuff. Yeah, that was a terrible way for that man to die. You know what I'm saying? And everybody like, saw it. That's why he had to be convicted because everybody all over the world saw it. You know, but like, first see all of this they, stuff. Shit, they let. Well, we didn't see it, but again, like I said last week, they had um, George Zimmerman. He was off. I'm surprised that he's still walking around. Yeah, Nobody that is crazy. Because if I see him, he won't be walking yeah. around. Well, well, God, God, well. God's revenge. God's revenge. I got a lot to say about He got time. something coming. You know what I'm saying? He definitely got something Sometimes coming. Sometimes it takes too long for them to get. Especially when you. You know, you think what they need to get. Mm -hmm. But but God is always on time, though. That's the thing. It might not have been our time, but it, it was his time. You know, he's right. He's right. He got to see God for that. Mm -hmm. And then, when he goes to God, that, uh, but I would help him get the, the to God. The little boy who life he took. You know I mean? The little boy who life he took. I mean, 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 we may be dealing with 15 years and only be 15 in God's eyes. Yes, you know exactly. I mean? but yeah, that's true, Mom. Me, that's true. Me, yeah. myself, I, anybody want to hurry up and get to go see God this <laughs> coming up here messing with me. Yeah. I'll send you straight to it. And that makes me think how you said like 15 years on earth could be considered like 15 minutes with that's God. That's true. That brings us like all those people, not the chance of on the show, who suffered. Mm -hmm. Like, what about what about them? You know what I mean? Like, it's just I don't know. Someone shouldn't have to suffer to make a point. Yeah, yeah. Like, why? Like we mentioned, I think yeah. before about the girl that was stuck in the water. Yes. And the branch like, fell like, over. That you was know why? Oh, that was that horrible. That was horrible. That was horrible. Nah, horrible. Picture. I it was a people. thirteen. Year, it was a baby. She was thirteen years old. I mean, that that's, shit was that's horrible. The way the world is, but why? Like, the way I, that, I was like, and then just watch her. She's like being all giddy and trying to be happy, and she's dying. Her eyes went completely black. And then she's the person like, that took the picture, picture. the photographer, actually won a award because of the picture. Because of it, in his documentation of what he happened, and this talking. girl died. This is it, it's, it's sickening. I guess that's why I don't have any patience. I, I have no patience for no bull crap, period. Nothing whatsoever. So what do you think about that, that's one? Why do people have to be... Because we suffer because the condition we in, and I'm going to be 100% honest, like, you know, we, we suffer because the condition we in. We don't, we don't do a lot of stuff that, like, part of God's, co com we don't follow God's uh, uh, commandments. Like on Saturdays, you're not even supposed to, you're supposed to make your food on Friday, and Saturday when you go to eat, you pull it out, you don't warm it up or nothing. You're not even supposed to use a microwave or or, or or stove, huh? What about bacteria? No, you 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 can't eat meat. You gotta make everything like bread and porridge and soup and stuff like that, and then to eat. But we cook every Saturday. We work every Saturday. We, we it's just like we're not following God's laws and like. The, the, this is what I've been through with God, you know what I'm saying? It's like, right, imagine this, no, I, yeah. but this is deep though, and, and it hurts my okay, heart to this let day. Him go into his okay, testimony. this ain't my testimony, but this is like the situation that me and God done went through. Imagine like having a baby, and you set the baby down, and you just, you see him go grab the stove and burn his hands really, really bad, and you like take him to the hospital, get him all better, and you know how I felt to see him go through that pain, and like you get him home, and you set him down again. And he doing it, do it again. Now, every time he do it, there's nothing you can do to stop him. You know what I'm saying? So you're sitting here you and you're watching this baby. Hurting himself? No, yeah, you're watching this baby intentionally hurt himself. You know what I'm saying? And that's like how messed up the world is. Like, from the alcohol down to the cigarettes down to the tobacco. Like, alcohol is good sometimes. We're sitting up here drinking while he's telling us. But it's, a lot of this stuff wasn't made for our people. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it, it's. Well, it's don't say like, alcohol because if you remember God, He no, gave I'm not, us wine. And then wine when you do your Passover, wine is two different things. Is two different things but, but, but I'm just saying, like, like no, alcohol. I'm saying like, we got to come out of this sedation. We got to come out of this sedation of you know, these, you, you know these the things. You know, you when you defend yourself against God. Like, nah. Okay, the question is why do we suffer, though? 
And and that's why you know. But what about what those who God never do anything But what about bad. those who follow God's commands, like children? And still why suffer. are they suffering? Well, well, they didn't consider what are you saying, suffering? Because we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna suffer. This is the thing we're gonna suffer in this world regardless. Still, Christ but comes the back. But God don't do nothing bad. But the devil does everything bad. Anything that you ever see, God never wanted to happen or let it happen. But I will say this. I feel like he put us here to make our own decisions. But and yeah, and another, even though he realized most of us was going to make bad decisions. Right. You, we all got to realize we killed Christ. Not the white man. Not, I wasn't we, around we, that we killed Christ. You know what I did No, I our, people, our people did. Kill, our people crucified Christ his own people and that's another reason why we suffer so bad was because he died for our sins but we the ones who you know it's it's deep you know i don't want to speak on that without the the evidence and the knowledge but like you know what i'm saying like it goes back beyond you know what we've been going through we suffer tremendously you know but not I mean? like he did i don't think nobody suffered like he did. and i believe in the 12 tribes you know what i mean I, 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 which I only ended up to be two because the rest <laughs> of the other 10 went the other way the other 10 went with satan so you talk about 12 but really it was only two this is all new to me <laughs> hey, all, of, hey, all of this is new to me I'm well sorry. they they read i'm gonna they, wait till my I read you. i'm gonna wait till my testimony but like we we suffer because the condition we in we we messed up you know what I mean and if we I all mean, if we all if we if we all if we all Mexican Guatemalan Jamaican if all the twelve tribes did this if all the twelve tribes quit smoking quit drinking and all gathered on that Saturday and, and all, all prayed and, and worship God like we're supposed to Christ will come back. But he, well, he waiting on us. He don't want to pop up and have you his children. You know what I, though, he, he waiting on us to come back. That's why we suffer. So. I'm, a, I'm a spiritual I don't person. I'm, I'm, I'm a spiritual yeah. person, but I am definitely not religious. I definitely believe oh, yeah, in God. Religion. I believe in God. I'm not religious at all. So all of this stuff that people be saying, I almost feel like, you know, all of it is hearsay. All of it. That's how I just take it. And I think it's, more to it than just waiting for a savior it's, it's more to it than just waiting for somebody to come and save you you have the tools on this earth to save yourself yeah. you have the tools on this earth to save you yourself don't. no but you but there's always a method like if you're i feel like if you're a person that believes in god and feel like they are you know tracking your life and leading the way for you you're gonna notice when they present an opportunity for you to do something not just something happening for you like the what's that story of the uh guy god's coming for me he sent the boat uh, <laughs> uh, it's no. like that it's uh, like that i feel like it's like no. that like the, he sent everything and he's like why didn't you say me he's like i sent the boat i sent this i sent that, that. and that's what god and, told me i'm telling and, and you know what like, so a lot some people though would be evil as fuck yeah so you don't yeah. know god sending somebody and or the devil this is this somebody. is what christ, this is what christ told me yes and this is yes. what he said exactly you know how you just said that church. this is what christ told me he said twan you, you you just did something that was really important to your your life he said twan you decipher who was who was god it was like because when people put things into their body like he can be speaking to you and saying the gentleman and say like i hate you you know what i mean and you would think like christ, christ is saying that so one day i was sitting by myself and i start hearing like uh yeah you he don't do this. To you a lot. Yeah. Honestly, to listen, to what, he listen, to, you all listen to what he said though he said yeah when you do that again i'm gonna break you off it's like i'm about to embarrass you i'm this and that and then i said i said you know what i said that's the devil and, and all of a sudden i hear hey twan you right you right you know uh, do do what you just did again and then I, I hear something i said that's god and then it, it ha happened again he said i said no i said that's the devil he was like twan you know what you're right because christ will never speak bad to you that's like that's what i'm saying the like, shoulder is yeah. the angel and the, yeah, the devil. yeah. It, it was deep it, my sense of story is deep like he said i'm the one only one in this world that ever you know got this uh, uh privilege to to hear from God and, and he was like trying everything in your life that's negative you got one thing stop I will say people wonder why 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 
if God feels like he can save one soul the last another hundred years, he will try to save that one soul. You know what I mean? Because he already knows not okay. that many people is going to be on the good. Because mostly everything is bad. I, I felt that like a fire. I was more with the mark of the beast right here in the God. I'm not, I can't even lie about it. I, it, it was an orange dot in my behind my eyes with and smoke that came off of it. And then that's when I could start hearing everything clearly. Like, man, that's that's my little cousin, man. I, I, I love him. They describing everything in the room. It got crazy. My situation is really sad. You know what I'm saying? And it sounds crazy, but. I, I need my own show for this. You do you know need your own show for that. This, this was so deep. It, he said, no, "This did, is the creator." He said, "This is." He said, "Is why you ended up in that situation where that even came to be." I don't want to say what it was because what I wanted to find out what it was was really Satan, like really something that the devil created to separate us from God. And and but yeah, I was I was messed up. I was. Uh, yeah, I had things in my system that shouldn't have been you nowhere know, near any child of God, for real, because it all started to come to life. Like they, they guided me. Mean? They literally guided me. They, they still guide me. They guide me through every time. This is what it is. We these people. Yeah, okay, only no, dead people talk no, to you. Why your grandfather never say a word no, to you? Because they mad at what I'm doing. They don't want nothing. My father would never be upset. I'm going to keep it real. I blame somebody for the reason why I was doing what I was doing, and that person just having to be in Self so accountability is a very important thing. And the next thing that we were going to talk about, I wanted to talk into that. Okay. Because, no, you're good. No, you're good. You, we got time. Um, self accountability is a huge thing that a lot of people don't do. People do a lot of projecting when it comes to their own life. Like you can say to somebody, "Oh, you need to get your stuff together. You know, you're not doing right. You're you're detrimental to yourself." And they'll be like, "Well, I'm not doing this because so and so, or I'm not doing that because this, or I'm not like, well, yeah, you, gotta be you have you have to hold yeah, yourself you gotta be accountable. Only oh, you can control like, your actions. Exactly. Yeah, you, you can't blame be, that on and that's, anybody. That, else. That's what the six six when they do that that's like giving them a reason to to think that it's okay to do what they're doing and when you go dealing with an addict in your family going to that you have to make you them, know what? Be, I believe you have to make them be ac accountable are kind of excused because when you're on drugs like that you really don't know right yeah right. yeah and that's the when thing you, when Somebody you really an addict and yeah, you on drugs true. you can that's the, true. you will do Your the right thing yeah. Feed your habits, yeah. so I don't feel like so, that. So you got it. You got it. You got to hold, hold, hold them accountable so they can see that and come about of that. Because when you're dealing with heavy addiction, like I've been through, you know something that some most people don't come back from. It's you. When, when God you gotta got come get you. To tell when, when God gotta come yeah. get. When God say these words to you, it's the most scary thing you you can ever go through. When God say, Twan. I'm, I'm giving you, gave you a chance to come back. Now, if I gotta come and get you, it, it's gonna be the worst thing you ever been through, the most painfulest thing you ever been through in your life. Now, now I'm giving you an opportunity to, to bring yourself back home. But if I have to give me chills to this day, like it's, it's not no, we it's we living in the last days, and, and and Christ is doing anything He can to to save. His, his children, and he told me this words. He said, Twan, he was like, you going through all this? He was like, you better go bring home my children. You know what I mean? Like saying, he said, don't let God's work go in vain, Twan. And he was like, and clean your life up because you, people got to be able to look at you and see the God in you. I agree with that. Okay, yeah. we have a comment. Leland said, they know they want to get high, but they don't know nothing else. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Cause it, it it turns into that. It goes from trying something to want to see how that feels again, to want to see how that feels again, to now it's a cycle to where I gotta have it. I, it, and, that, it and that's true. I mean, that's true. That's what a lot of things too. That can be 
any, it's anything. It's a repetitive thing. Yes, like, like you, when you enjoy something once, you want to experience yeah, it. Yeah, and that could be with sex, that could be yeah, with yeah, chocolate, yeah, yeah, sex, yeah, yeah, but everything yeah. has a different effect yeah, uh, on exactly. your body. Yeah, exactly. So you don't think that you're better than the next person because your addiction yeah, may be something sex or chocolate in your drugs, you know? It's all it's all the same. Food addictions, people have food addictions. There's all kinds of addictions that you can have. And there's a lot of great minds that got caught up in that. Yeah, like DMX. I talk about DMX because your mommy a lot of you have that too. You have a brilliant mind. And then he, the way he speak and the the, the prayers he would he would give is just amazing. And he had an addiction, but his music was so powerful, his prayers were so Let's powerful. He considered his, himself to be a, a, a deacon. And all growing up, he was abused by his mother, his stepfather. Like he had teeth knocked out mm-hmm. when he was younger. He went through all this stuff. He never turned his back on God. But you so think like that about it, so, just according so powerful. to scriptures and people that believe in religion. Mm-hmm. The people that were most close to God were the ones that, that were troubled. Also, they were troubled people. Yeah. Prostitutes, drug addicts, and my robbers. That, that all that book that is stuff. 100% real because everything that I've ever done, been through since this started happening it came straight out of that Bible. Mm-hmm. And it's like. Justin said great points. Hi, Justin. He said great points. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, thank you. But. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's deep, like, I just, I just don't see how somebody can't believe in God after what I've been through, like. Well, you have a, te- a story to tell, you have a testimony, yeah, something deep, you've been yeah. through, something that you could have lost yourself in that you got out. For real, and, and the only way I got out of, it, out of it was through Christ. Christ, he put the miracle that, they said, Twine, I ain't, God ain't never did this for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Once you, you mark, it's, it's over. God ain't never gave nobody the chance that he just gave you to him. And we, you got us to, to help you be successful. Everything that God had for you to him, you, you threw it away and, and, and you didn't go get it. And God's sitting here, he wants you to have everything that, every, all the, his blessings that he had for you to him, he wants you to have them. And, yeah. and, and all the good that he had for you, he wants you to have them and he directing you to, for you to go get these things. If you want a house like Quincy's, he, he, he had that for you already. You just... You but know, everybody can't thing. be a snake like Quincy. Oh, Lord. Let me just oh, tell Lord. you that. Everybody oh, can't oh, be riding oh, to the car. Oh, 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 everybody oh, can't be riding to the car like Quincy. Oh, 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 that's his brother. Oh, 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 that's not yeah, his brother because I'm his mother and I didn't know Okay, I want to say one thing. Oh, Lord. She said the wrong, the true one. I want to say one thing though is I can definitely say that I have been a witness to how blessed you have been. Yeah. Like things will literally just yeah. be falling yeah. your lap. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. Yeah. Hard yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. 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 That's why I could be walking yeah. the yeah. and stuff like, God told me to bitch. <laughs> yeah. You're going to like, go home for mm-hmm. you. Like you literally do, you, you have yeah, had God. so many yeah. opportunities to be set up to have a good yeah. life. And I think now that everything's coming Full circle for like realizing these things. Yeah. yeah, for real. And, and, and that's not to spoil those opportunities. Yeah, yeah, for real. yeah. And I always got in my blessings for so real. God, so true. God the always been good for me. You know, and I ain't crazy. never went a day hungry for real. I never, never went a day that, hungry. Yeah, you haven't. We made sure of that. Yeah, for you me. Me. Oh, that's why right. like, hey, y'all, I need groceries. Even what when we I, do, even we felt like, like hey, we can bring in groceries. Even when I didn't have shit, I never went hungry. I always had y'all. I have my extended family and my extended friends that I wind up meeting. In the street, but God always make sure I have food. You know? well, I think I That's because God, and you know what? And I always say this to you, Antoine. Like of all of the people that I know in the world, you've always I just known you had a great spirit. You've uh-huh. always had a good spirit. Yeah. Reg- even with your troubles that you experience in life, which everybody goes through troubles right. and yeah. experiences in life. Like you went through some serious shit, but you've always had a great spirit. You might have had. See ya. Some yeah. issues. And you see here, I'm willing to open up about this. You know, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't do this. And you know what I mean? And I definitely don't blog. You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm yeah, here to support yeah. y'all. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to talk derogatory towards no no man or, or you woman. Never you never know been that way. You never and, been that way. And I, I congratulate everybody. But it's just like for God to do all this for me, for me not to want to brag about it and speak about it and say, like, he is real, you know. Like, I just, we're all proud of you. But we're I'm glad it's all disturbed. Healthy and 
happy and alive. That's all we want for you. And I appreciate that, sis, for real. Yeah, absolutely. I'm here to support y'all, you know what I'm saying? Well, I wanted you on the show, because I feel like we do, especially, I, I know, not my dude, I throw that one up a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I always and I was like, I would love to have that one come on the show, part, especially part. after the, um, the, the death of DMX, so I was like, you all reminded me of him, and I was like, man, I'm so glad that S1 was able to turn oh, his life um, around. Yeah, and I was like, we got it. If he would be willing to come on the show, let him give his testimony. Yeah, because it was deep. Yeah, it was like, you see the stuff in movies and you, you, you don't never expect that to happen. You never expect that to happen. Like, you hear people speak like that all the time. Like, you see the story when the guy was talking about how when uh, he was walking through Judgment Day and he was like, this girl made a Facebook post that got her kicked out of heaven because she made a like a post that that turned 300 and some people's faith in God around uh, when she went up to see Christ and he, he told her about that and he cast her to the lake of fire like it, he went really went through that because I believe him because when he talked about the heat and the sound that it made and how it felt uh, I felt that I felt that Leland yeah. said head top mm -hmm. appreciate it thank you thank you brother appreciate it um, so, we're going to hit our um, last topic. So, 7-year-old Jacqueline Adams, she was murdered in a McDonald's parking lot in Chicago, Illinois. How long ago did this happen? This was a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago. And then, it, I guess um, it was a gang-related situation? Yes. Her father is a gang member. Okay. And so and he was driving the car. He got that's shot a, once, she got shot seven times. That's a sad, terrible situation. Yeah. But what then he made a comment about Okay, what kills me about this story, first of all, like just the fact that and the person who killed her was a man named Marlon Lewis and he was seventeen years old. Mm -hmm. And she was seven years old. But he according to like the grapevine of the gang community or whatever he purposely killed the daughter really to hurt him and it didn't because he said he wouldn't give he his said, life to her he said the father. New, he said in a facebook or instagram live he said i'm not gonna die for my baby but i'm gonna die for my boy that's the dumbest shit the, ever heard. that was the most sickening <laughs> shit i ever heard in my life yeah, you sorry. telling me that your gang affiliation is more important than your baby. That and then what's even sadder is the girl's mother, the baby mom, has been defending him. Really? And people, she's been talking about some. No, it's not like that. He's been she a good dumb. father. Dumb. He ain't a dumb. good father. He will say that. This but is what's wrong. And then the killing thing is, you just wait until he do have to die. You just wait. Well, they, he, he would be happy if it's for his game, but this not is, for his baby. Okay, then he might have to die for some other reason. It might not be for his game like he won't. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because I ain't never seen nobody talk or act like that. That and I've and, seen and, some and that's people, the but craziest thing like to me. Before. And what pisses me off about this story is that what the response, the comments were that the baby mama should have chose better for a baby father. That's what was most, a lot of the comments was that baby mama should have chose a baby father, a better baby father for her child. How do you really know what but, parents don't yes, like exactly. you know when yes. you have a kid by Yes, back. exactly, exactly. But when so, you come to gangbanging, you know. You know but but well, wait a second, but what is, where is the self-accountability? But you would think that, but you would also think that somebody that they would die for his child. boys, but not his baby. Regardless of her having the baby by him or not, why are there so many men that have this ridiculous mentality? So they're and then when you ask that, choosing better, yeah, they yeah, yeah, the guy. yeah it, it, they not put not no fault on him. him. It's always it, these men get coddled in our community, and it's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous because why the fuck is that the question instead of this motherfucker should have been doing this? Mm -hmm. He needs to hold himself accountable. No, you're looking at all the excuses for why he is wh why it he is. is. Honestly, I can't say what I if it would have happened accurately because I'm not. I wasn't in that situation. But me being a parent, if I see something going on, I'm gonna try to protect my kid. 
you know, any I, 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 if you see a child in well, danger, I'm saying if it's me and my daughter, no, somebody yeah. starts shooting, I'm gonna try to shield her, protect yes. her. I'm not gonna let myself go unharmed and then let her just sit there and get hurt and then end up passing exactly. away. Like, I, that just couldn't be me. And then choosing better has nothing to do with it. Like my mom you said, really don't you know don't know how somebody yeah, how do you, you, you want them the women to be clairvoyant and just know, hey, he's going to be a great father. How yeah. the fuck are you going to know that? Yeah, how the fuck are you going to know that? Somebody can also pull in the act and, until the time I comes. Mean, but but if he was with his too. daughter at the time of the incident, he was trying you know no, he wasn't. They probably I mean, some chicken nuggets. He was trying to hold himself. Okay. You know, another chicken. good example he was, he was another just story. He behind her. No, there's a scandalous. He, he basically was basically the kind of shit he shot. shot. So she got shot seven times. Shot and once. he only got shot once. That means he was looking for cover from stuff and was not looking Remember to cover that, that baby. Uh, was in New Jack City where he picked up the baby and was using the baby as a shield. Yes, using her as a shield. But there's another story of a man there's a like a security camera footage of a man, a bulldog came out or like a pit bull or something was came out raging and the dad jumped on top of the car and left the little girl oh, standing wow. there. The dog didn't attack nobody. The dog just was there and the dad was scared, jumped in the car, left the little girl on the ground. Like why? My first instinct would be to put my baby up somewhere, not for me. But to then get you somewhere. already know who protected that baby. That dog wasn't gonna touch. That dog wasn't gonna hurt nobody. Protected it that wasn't. baby. But he saw that dog and immediately jumped in the car, left his daughter there. The daughter standing there. The dog walked up to the little girl. Dog walks around, and he's still standing there on top of the car screaming. Wow. And I'm like. If you think this dog is gonna hurt, why didn't you get your baby up? Why are you on the car and she's a, a bitch are, ass? I was mother. gonna say, them are not even men or fathers. Because yeah. real men and fathers don't even act like that. I just don't get the coddling of this type of behavior. Like, it seems like women get called out called out for everything. You need to hold yourselves accountable for this and this and this and this and that. And usually what they're holding us accountable for accountable for doesn't even result in death. But these men can kill people in our community, ravage the community, and all of a sudden it's because their mama was single, it's because their girlfriend put them on child support, it's because this it's, always, it's always somebody it's else's fault. It's always, always somebody else's fault. Yeah. That's not holding him accountable. It's not holding him accountable. It's not the one the women in his background. That's what it stands from. No. But no. if you're a real woman, you don't care what people say about no, you. No, but what because I'm saying is, why don't men hold just, themselves? Why they don't they men blame not everybody for everything for except shit. for really what they need to be blamed for? So I, and I'm sorry, to bro. Me, I, he's like, he's a I, 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 your upbringing and your your background, things that happen to you in your life, definitely does shape who you are. Mm -hmm. But also, you have to be able to overcome those mm -hmm. obstacles. This, this is and it's my philosophy is this: raising children is like leading a horse to water. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Mm -hmm. You can take them to a crossroads, like, hey, you walk down this path, you're gonna have the greatest life ever. If you go down these two paths. It can go either or, but you're more than likely to have a problem. If they walk down the bad path, that's not your fault. Mm -hmm. You, they chose that. But some people, and uh, I, 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 Anna, I, 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 how do you say it? Yeah. yeah. She said it. Um, that she said that there's a process to where you heal, and then there's also a process to where you grow. So you grow, meaning that you can live your life, although you fa you're facing certain obstacles, but you're still able to, you know, live. Mm -hmm. But when you actually overcome, means that you heal, and at the time when you heal is death. So basically, she's saying you never. There's really you no way to get you know, yeah. yeah. There's really no way for you to get past the things that happen to you, but you just learn to live yeah. with them. Cool. Oh. Yes. And so there's a difference because she said once you're able to come to terms with thinking you just heal from it, that's at on your move on. When you, when, when, you, when it's just over. I say move on long before but you. I, but I do agree with that simply because like like me, there's things happened to me in my past. There's something to me, you know, that I just get irritated with, you know, now. But I learned to live with them, and I girls not gonna stop me. 
Exactly. It's not going to define you. Like my or it's not going to ruin your life. Why do you it. sit up and be mad about it? Like, yeah. why? Yeah. But some things some people probably can't overcome. Some people don't have to trick other people. can't get over. But you want Mama, to you're a woman. I really can't get over some sh- Oh, but I hold a grass for the rest of my life. But listen, so when you do, when you're able to get over it completely, you heal. Yeah. That's when you, that's, uh, that's, that's the what end of the day. That's what I'm going through on my yeah. journey. That's why even the dudes that jump me and stuff like that, I don't I'm tired of dudes know. jumping on you, Antoine. Yeah. I'm really okay. sorry. I handle my own. I handle my own. Hey, at least everybody got touched. So <laughs> we all with that stuff. We always with that stuff. said at least everybody got touched. Everybody nobody got left touched, but them but like, For real, I don't have no anger like, towards them. I don't have no anger towards them person that set me up and got me shot, none of that, you know what I'm saying? And they do help me sleep better or not. Because mm-hmm. when I dwell on it and I fall asleep thinking about it, I, I had dreams about it, and it just wasted more energy. Ain't nothing yeah. ever going to be done. Ain't mm-hmm. nobody going to die. That's definitely what it is. I, so I don't I have, I can't let my energy just go. I can't, I can't yeah. change it, so I'm going to have to learn to live with it, and yeah. that's it. I mean, because it takes so much of your energy. It drains yeah. 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 you. It, it, it hurts you. It hurts you. Yeah. But them people I'm having a flashback on. <laughs> it's not hurting me. I like waking up every I morning, can't, can't stand now. No, it's, 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 it's very exhausting. It's very exhausting. It's not for me. 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 It really is. We're going to read some of the comments here. Oh. What Justin said is some people that dedicated their life to the street, no matter what we may see is right. It's free will. We yeah. all have it. But I don't know any real father that would even agree to that shit that father yeah, said. That's yeah, true. yeah, that it, it, that's true. Yeah, that's, like like no, that no. was sickening. I couldn't believe that he said that. And Leland said men do what women find attractive. Oh, what's the what excuse? Oh, Leland, excuse. what does that mean? No, this what is what we that 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 mean? Mean? Oh, uh, because women like it, we do it. No, that's bullshit. So you think that's that I'll be to a guy that says, me sacrificing my daughter's life over my own, that, uh, that's what I want one to do? That's no, normal. that's no, that's not, what, what, men do that. Like when yeah, I, I ask know men, that said that stuff to get y'all yeah, no, up, right? no, yeah, I'm sure he does. I'm <laughs> sure he does. But Leland, this is what I mean. Like dudes use that same type of rhetoric when they say yeah. stuff. When you talk about pregnancy and women having babies and baby mamas and baby fathers, they always say, "Oh, the woman is the decider. She let him go raw, or she let him do this, or she let him do that." And I'm like, let's say you got a dumbass woman that's letting you do all this shit. You just gonna do it because she let her let you do it? You just gonna do it because she let you do it? Where is your accountability? Just because somebody lets you do something doesn't mean you should do it. And then that, that also doesn't mean that you're no longer responsible. Like you impregnated a dumb woman who didn't protect herself and she put you on child support. Well, she should have chose better. No, motherfucker, you should have chose better. You chose to do and that. As a matter of fact, you should be better. Like why don't yes. you be the man that you that you think she would need? Why do you yes. why do you have to be a dumbass and a fucking idiot? Or why have you like I'm gonna go with her and then say it's her fault that she chose you? Yeah. But then if she didn't uh, choose you, you go go around talking about, well, I don't like so and so, I don't date black women because they did me like this because they decided to go to my dad with that. That's that's that's, 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 that's how it will that's how it will go. Say they especially don't black women because of this, they don't know them women. But I'm saying especially Yeah, they think it's a threat. But I'm saying especially Especially if the black woman over because they know they can do better, mm-hmm. then when that guy starts dating out his race, he's gonna say, "I stopped dating black women because they they uh, didn't find me attractive because of this or that." A B C D, you know, they didn't do what I wanted them to do, but she does what I wanted to do, and it's, and it's acceptable. But I, I guarantee that if, if it was a white lady, you wouldn't say you should choose better. But a black woman, you will say she should have chose better. And she do, does choose better. You hold it like something against you. Then you just oh, the, discount they go, they black women. Period. Samuels period. Are, you don't deserve this type yeah, of man. This discount black women. Period. I don't date women because this A B C D. You need. You they know, go into the canvas. It's ridiculous. Bullshit. It's, it's, you, it's guys are just ignorant. Not yeah. all guys. Not all guys. Not all guys. Yeah, I would never. As I example. would never. I would never speak bad about the black woman. I mean. I don't, I don't get it. You're surrounded by 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 it. You're sur
And I always uh, say how F that's why I ran South High School. I uh, swear. Yeah, you did. Well, we just knew everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. We used to have fun. Shout out to everybody that went to South. <laughs> to run and be the smallest guy. Got all these guys behind him just walking down the hall, seeing the front, running, running shit. And when I went to school with him, he was so shy. Like his first year, he was, he was so shy. shy. When I was school with him. He, he was shy. Like By he that time, he had been there. He had been there a few years. Then he was like, you know what? I got this. Yeah, he was running south. No, no, I definitely wasn't. But <laughs> Okay, y'all, y'all. Yeah, yeah, we're getting down to the wire, y'all. It was so great to have you yes, on the thank show. Yes, thank you, Esther. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. come back. Yeah, yeah next you time, next time, I'm going to do a whole show about what I want to do and explain it more. I know yeah. this kind of choppy to the viewers because they don't know where I'm coming from with it, but I will. Oh, they know because half of them was just dealt like with it them themselves. Yeah. 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 All right, well, thank you all for hey, and shout And shout out to anybody going through that. You know what I mean? I pray for you for real because it, if it, it, it takes through price. It, you could. For, yeah. Real, yeah. for real, and if I can do it, you can. Thank you all for tuning in. See you all next week.